Tommy on Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to take a look at combining the pitch block arpeggiator effect type with some time-based effects to create some truly out of this world sounds on our AxeFX FM3 or FM9. To get started, I'm on the AxeFX3 with the latest 21.01 firmware. This video is pretty much inspired by everybody's reaction to last week's Tuesday Tone Tip. People really seem to like that sequenced wah idea and the arpeggiator is kind of like a pitch based version of that. So I've got a stereo pair of these ODS 100 amps together with my Gift of Tone Clean IR. I'll link that one in the video description and a little bit of medium room reverb at the moment. This is the clean sound on my Strat. <laughs> I'm pretty much going to be playing single notes or octaves for the rest of the video, so that's not super important. You can use this with any amp sound you like, and if you're on the FM3, maybe experiment with placing the pitch block between the amp and the cab because you don't have stereo amps in there. You've only got one amp block. On the FM9 and the AxeFX3, you can play along here. So the pitch block defaults to dual detune. Let's go to Arpeggiator. To get a feel for this, turn it on and just play an A note on your guitar. <laughs> All right, you can hear there that it is running through some pitch shifting very rapidly. It's running through because the run control is on. The tempo is set over here. I'm going to turn this down to a 16th note subdivision. Tempo is at 120 BPM. And then the number of steps is going to control how many different pitch shift intervals we have. We can have up to 16. We can set the individual intervals over here using the step shift functions over here. And then the glide time is controlling how quickly we change from one pitch note to the other. So as you turn this up, you're going to get smoother transitions in there. For example, uh, I'll let you hear the difference between like one millisecond and say 15 milliseconds. <laughs> Alrighty, we can set the key and scale in the key and scale function over here. I'm pretty comfortable in the key of A minor, so I'll set it to Aeolian minor. And then in the master tab, we can set the detector source, whether we want fast or smooth pitch tracking for single notes. Fast works pretty well. Then we can set stuff like the pan shape. I might set this to be a sine wave so it pans smoothly across the stereo spectrum. We can also change the amplitude shape of the notes. So the volume of the different pitch notes we can set to either be constant, which I'm going to leave it on at the moment, decreasing up and down, increasing, decreasing and increasing according to a sine wave. So nice and, nice and smooth and continuous. But for now, let's just have a listen to what we've got. A natural minor, we've got a bit of glide time on here. I've set the pan shape to sign, so it's going to move around between these stereo amps. <laughs> Let's get into maybe programming a slightly longer sequence in here. At the moment, these shifts are giving me the first note. This is giving me two pitched intervals up. So it's actually giving me the third note of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, and the octave over here. Maybe let's do this. Let's add a couple of extra notes in there. I wouldn't mind having maybe the second interval in there. So I'll do that one in there. And then let's put our four back in. We'll go up to seven, and then we'll come back down via four via, what will we do? Maybe via two, and then we'll go back up to one really quickly. I'll set the number of steps to eight this time. Let's have a listen to what we've got. <laughs> This goes absolutely next level, kind of like our sequence wire from last week when we add some dual delay, same dual delays as last week. Check this out, this is too much fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm. I'm liking that a lot. Maybe let's go for a longer sequence. Maybe let's go 12 steps in here and I will add some shifts down in there. Let's add, oh, I don't know, let's go to zero over here. Then we'll go down an octave, so minus seven, and we'll kind of step back up through a couple of different notes over here. Now let's go minus five and minus three or something like that. So there's 12 steps in there. I'm gonna increase my tap tempo over here so everything's just a tiny little bit faster. Still playing in the key of A, we get this. Why not get even crazier with it? I'm gonna add a synth block in here. I've got voice one and two set as sawtooth waves, some slight detune offset on them, and voice three is a square wave. I'm actually gonna have voice three be an octave lower than the other two over there. I've kind of brought the filter frequencies down on these below 5K, somewhere around four and a half, 5K, 3K, somewhere in there so it sounds nice and warm. And then for reverb, let's change to the Ursa Major reverb type over here. I'm just going to kind of maybe pick some random intervals in here as well and just twist some knobs and have a little bit of fun so this gets even crazier. We'll go for some really high ones up here and a couple of different low ones. You know, uh, this is part of the fun with this. The only limit is your imagination or your willingness to experiment over here. What do we get? <laughs> this is going to be pretty interesting. Just a few fun little ideas in there. They kind of get crazier and crazier with this combination. But in general, you know, having something that's kind of rhythmically synced, that's either changing the pitch or filtering or the panning together with some rhythmic delays and maybe some reverb or some pitched reverb in there is a pretty great recipe for sonic experimentation. Hopefully now you know how to start playing around with the arpeggiator and the only limit is going to be your own imagination and creativity. I would love to hear what you all come up with. If you come up with cool stuff, put it up on Axchange for everybody to try. If you have comments or suggestions for future Tuesday Tone Tips, 
put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week. Take it easy and thanks for watching.